Hey girls, so I'm back and we are doing another wash and go video, but this time I have the infamous Equal Style Black Castor Oil and Flax Seed. So if you watched my last video, you know when I used the Equal Style Gold, I actually used the whole tub, like I barely had enough. So I brought in reinforcements. Yay! <laughs> So no worries about running out this time. I mean, I think just one of these would have been okay, but you know, got to be extra. But no, I already had this one. So instead of buying two of this size, I just decided to get the next size up. So I'll have extra left for sure. So I feel really good now that I know I'm not going to run out of gel. So this summer I plan to do a wash and go series where I will just use every gel that you can imagine until I find the best gel for me. So we are going to go through gel after gel after gel, trial and error. We're going to have some failures, we're going to have some successes but we are gonna find the perfect wash and go. I'm going to start with the Eco Styler first and go through each one. And then after I've gone through all of those, I'm gonna move on to another line. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to perfecting my wash and go. So let's get started. For this wash and go, I'm pairing my Eco Style with Texture ID. Um, I'm using two products from their line. I did a mix test on my hand and they are cohesive. They work great together. So I'm hoping I won't get any flakes. And I also have a water bottle on hand for when my hair dries out because it will dry out. <laughs> So I applied my leave-in in the shower on um, silky wet hair because um, I just don't think the product penetrates my hair as well when it's dry. And then I also sat under in my hooded dryer for about 30 minutes with the product on just so that my cuticles could open and actually absorb the leave-in. And as I'm applying the Eco Style, I feel like I like the consistency. It's nice and thick. It's coating my strands. My curls are starting to form, but I still have that sense of not knowing if I've used enough yet. Like I feel like I need to keep putting more on. I'm obviously doing the raking method as you can see. Okay, I am finished doing my wash and go with the Eco Style Black Castor Seed and Flax Seed Oil. Anyway, I'm done. This time it took me about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm tired. So, the good thing is with this Texture ID, um, the products that I used aren't super heavy and as you've seen, like towards the front of my hair, I actually started spraying the leave-in on my hair as I was going because my hair was drying out. The product had absorbed into my hair when I sat under the hooded dryer. So I didn't have a lot of white residue, but I also felt like I didn't have a lot of product on my hair. So I had to start applying the leave-in before I applied my um, gel because I wasn't just about to put gel on my hair. So the good thing about that is my hair is actually starting to dry. There's no white 
mixed in there's no like residue that I can see so I feel very positive that I'm not gonna have flaking the bad thing about that is my hair was drying out and it was like getting tangled after I've already detangled it and I spent a lot of time detangling my hair I already have a lot of hair so the fact that I had to add extra time to detangle my hair made this wash and go take a little bit longer but I'm happy it's done so far I'm liking this gel I'm not loving it I do like it a little better than the gold gel though um, I want to see how it works with my hair the life of it see if it can last a few days see if it gives me um, a max 10 hold which it claims it does so far I don't feel like it's gonna be a 10 but that's what it says it is so I'm gonna just have faith in that so I think I'm gonna let my hair air dry I might sit under my hooded dryer for maybe an hour but this is pretty much already starting to dry so I feel like within the next three to five hours my hair will be a hundred percent dried I'll be able to tell you an update then Okay, so my hair is pretty defined as you can see. Um, some of the front parts are a little frizzy. There's tiny areas of frizz, but for the most part my hair is very defined, very moisturized, nice and fluffy, nice and big. So this was my wash and go with the Eco Style Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil and I really like it. There's not that much of a crunch though which I'm surprised because I kind of like a gel cast because that means I can get more days out of my wash and go. This is my second day hair and it's already pretty big and fluffy and there's not um, that max 10 hold that I was expecting so I'm not gonna give it 10 out of 10 I'm gonna give it more of an 8 out of 10 just because I feel like because the hold isn't there I'm gonna lose how many days I can actually wear this wash and go but other than that it's a really good product it gives you um, a pretty decent hold it gives you good moisture it has no flakes um, but that kind of goes with making sure you pair it with the right leave-in or the right cream so that's more on you than on the actual gel you just have to make sure you're pairing it correctly but other than that um, I have nothing negative to say about it you know it's, it's a good it's a good gel so if you haven't tried it try it out Hit me on Instagram at XO underscore Rocky. Tell me how you like the product. Chat with me. Um, and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of my sisterhood. And also hit me up in the comments. But until next time, see ya. Lead them from temptation, make them royalty. All the things we face and make us question it. To salvation, pour that oil, please. That's how we become kings and queens.